According to a recent survey, 85% of women on social media say they've witnessed moms shaming other moms. A new startup is trying to create a safe space online for working mothers. Chairman Mom is a subscription-based website that charges users $5 a month. Its goal is to cut down abuse, trolling, and mom bullying. It's the brainchild of Sarah Lacey, a working mom in San Francisco, who founded tech website Pando and spent years reporting on the tech industry. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So do you think that, that social media has failed working moms? Yes, and I think it's largely because women and people of color were not in the room when these platforms were created. People always ask me, you're pushing so hard for diversity in Silicon Valley. How would things look different? And I think we wouldn't see the abuse that we see on social media if it, if it were different. We have now seen a 10, 15-year arc of this great promise of giving people these tools for free, and all we're going to do is show you some ads. Well, we've seen how that experiment worked. We got addicted, we got emotionally manipulated, and particularly women were exposed and abused. We've, we have helped made billions of dollars for entrepreneurs in Silicon Valley as the biggest users of these platforms, and we're the most abused. And Chairman Mom is about ending that abusive relationship. Abused how? Yeah, that's what mom I'm shaming, saying. mom bullying, mommy wars. Like what, what? I want an example of mom bullying. Like yeah. what? Um, and so, you know, Oh, you're saying that, you know, stay-at-home moms are better. You're saying working moms are better. I mean, this division that comes up in our country. I mean, 40% of Americans think it's bad for society if moms work. That is a deep, entrenched bias mm -hmm. that makes working moms feel guilty for following their dreams and doing something great for their families. And by the same token, stay-at-home stay -home moms shouldn't feel guilty. Why do I care what you're doing with your kids? Yes. I'm focused on my life and my kids, you talk but about, we've been baited into this. You talk about a Silicon Valley billionaire. I would like to know who that is, or at least <laughs> initials, but he made you a bet that made, that made you think about rebranding moms. What was the bet? So this was, Do you want to say who it is? I, I don't want to say who it is because it's actually someone who is super supportive yeah. and a large investor in my company okay. after the <laughs> fact. So he, he learned. Okay. But uh, when I was pregnant um, with my first child, Eli, I was massively pregnant. I was like a 200-pound pregnant woman. And um, I was planning a conference in China, and I was going to be on stage for four days. Mm -hmm. And I had spent two years planning this conference in China. So I did not know I'd be pregnant in the middle of it. Yes. The date of the conference was six weeks after my due date. And now, like a first time mom, I've been told by society I would be a mess after becoming pregnant. And this billionaire told me there's no way you're going to leave and get on that plane after holding your baby in your arms to the point where he made a hundred dollar bet with me. And I was like, you're saying I'm going to throw away everything I've worked for <laughs> yeah. when I suddenly have a baby. But that's what we tell women about motherhood. And you were on what a plane. plane. Yes. yes. And what, it was fine. Yeah. What, how do women in the marketplace act though? Because you have, you have the confessional mommy blogger who talks about how impossible it is. And they attract a certain group of people who say, Say, yes, finally, somebody's talking about yeah. my reality. But then the market, it seemed to shift to uh, pictures of family that are perfect, where everybody yes. looks great in the pictures. And that gets the audience, but it also is a kind of shaming some people feel because they're like, I can never live that life. So how is that transition in audience? And again, part of what you're describing is everyone being in these ad-based systems. Yeah. What gets you the most clicks as, a, as an influencer, as a mom influencer, having this perfect family? Well, that just makes other women somehow feel lesser than, even though we know everyone's family is crazy and chaotic. Yes. For me, I just felt like I'd been oh, told my whole adult life <laughs> Becoming a mother would be this insane disability that would change who I was. And I felt like it was a superpower. I felt like yes. I could suddenly shoot like too. webs yes. out of my palms. Like I became more productive. I became a better manager. I never would have had the courage or confidence to start my own company without having my children. Well, Chairman, Mo Chairman Mom, yeah. congrats to you. <laughs> we are rooting for you. I Thank like you. I like it a lot. Thank you, Sarah Lacey.